Hey, it's some old guy coding you again today, and here we're looking at the uh, uh, you know, modular synthesizer here, and we've also got tons of uh, you know patch cables to uh, um, pull out of boxes. And one of the things here, of course, is you know with all these patch cables, uh, what the heck do you do with them? Well, I was going to uh, make some hangers. Uh, Let's go to the side here where you can see, make some hangers on the side here um, that we can slide these into, or, or maybe like that would be a better bet, slide them in that way, and uh, spots that would just kind of, uh, you know, hold them, um, like this. And there's a whole bunch of different designs on Thingiverse, um, including some that are uh, uh, configurable, that you could probably adapt to you know, a uh, uh, quarter inch, <laughs> the old quarter inch phone plug. Um, but uh, I'd like to maybe see and see something, you know. So we're going to take a look at doing that today. Um, so I'm just going to grab some measurements off of this guy here with my caliper and uh, go upstairs and, and create a design. And then we'll uh, look at uh, making it. So, you know, of course, the the jack portion is uh, <laughs> one point uh, six or six point two six, which it's it's supposed to be actually uh, uh, a quarter inch. So it's very close to a quarter of an inch. Um, of course, the uh, body of it is um, uh, almost thirteen millimeters wide, and then back here the cable, which is the size of the slot that we're going to have to fit into, is. Uh, Comfortably, maybe uh, let's call it let's round it up to maybe eight millimeters, so it slides in and out nice and easy. There we go, eight millimeters, and that will still allow it to be inserted and, and caught like that and easily easily removed. So this is actually the sort of thing we're going to make here: is a spot, a bunch of slots on a board to slide these things into. So uh, we got the measurements here. Eight millimeters is going to be the size of the slot. And uh, we'll take this back upstairs so we can work on it. I've uh, created a uh, model here of my cable holder. I created also created this model um, of a quarter inch phone plug with a cable attached so I can kind of scale it uh, to get this to fit here. I've put this model out on Thingiverse if you happen to need a quarter inch phone plug model to uh, you know help design something like this. I've got the thickness of my wood in here. Uh, it's actually 13.25 millimeters. I'm going to use some particle board. So I've got that all measured out. And then uh, just um, uh, splitting bodies and creating bodies and chamfering and and uh, rather uh, uh, filleting and that sort of thing. Uh, I've created this model, 3D model of the uh, thing that I want to cut. And as you can see here it's got uh, two sides here um, so that two full sides that we can use this to you know mount it or screw it through to the side of the synthesizer cabinet on either side I can have one on each side and instead of just coming out with a fingerboard you know and you've seen these where it's like you hold your hand flat and there's a bunch of fingers coming out uh, and just making a fingerboard that holds uh, the cables between the fingers um, I wanted something a little stronger just because you know uh, some of these cables are long and they do get heavy after you put enough of them in there so I wanted something stronger than just a fingerboard now granted this is probably way overkill but uh, I like it so I'm gonna go with it I'm sure you could cut these down in size so and uh, all these kind of fit together they butt together except for this board here kind of slip down in between the slots there so that we can cut out slots for these fingers to fit into and help uh, position them so we don't have to have a, a spacer you know to go between the parts to position those uh, when we assemble so this this will be the cut that helps locate those uh, spaces or locate these uh, fingerboards effectively All right so then what I did I made a duplicate of it everything except for of course the uh, the plug and then one by one I took each of those pieces and I, I drew a, a piece of uh, a box the thickness of the board that I've got and one by one I took these and aligned them onto the board so that they were uh, flush with the board 
and once they were all on there I took them and just rearranged them so that they would uh, fit on the board um, so we could have a um, you know cut out as you can see right here and one thing you can do with this too is you can set the opacity control of the board just to help, to help you see where the parts are um, so you want to work from the side of the board that has the uh, teeth um, comb here out, uh, facing upward we're going to go ahead and subtract out all these other parts uh, from the board so we'll select the board and do a modify combine and the tool bodies are going to be all the other parts in here just like that at this point we should be able to select the, the top face and say uh, sketch create sketch I'll we'll stop the sketch now if we take a look at that sketch it's right here let's go ahead and hide that uh, board let's we'll hide the bodies for now select that sketch and um, <clears throat> hopefully this will allow us uh, to to cut this part out so Let's go ahead and save that sketch as a DXF. And then we'll go to ESTL Cam. Alright, and there we have our outline. Now, of course, in uh, Fusion, we could also use the uh, Cam facility in here. But uh, I'm just more comfortable with ESTL Cam. Yes, yeah, so these are the squares that go between uh, the boards and the uh, open spots are where the board, uh, where the teeth will fit into. So while we're, we're while we're doing this here, we're going to go ahead and just do an automatic uh, parts here, and we'll do that and that. All right. So you can see that it's making parts here, but uh, this these are actually backwards. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take and just select all of those and delete them. and we're going to uh, create a part here and we're going to do it this way we're actually going to go all the way down here up there back here back down and there's the whole part being cut out <clears throat> but then we also have to pocket out uh, these spots for the boards to go in so we'll go ahead and uh, make a hole here and we'll do this manually and that's going to be a pocket and we're going to do the same with all these other in-between spots too and pocket so first let's make everything um, go ahead and cut the uh, full depth. Of course, we don't want to uh, cut this outer part, so we'll just take that guy off. That's the outer part of the board. Delete. There we go. And actually, well, we want to have the two uh, foot di diameter going the other direction, so we're going to go ahead and um, rotate all of this. by negative uh, 90 oops we'll just toss that out of the way it was going to our uh, two foot uh, two foot on the y-axis board I want to select it like this and select everything go to depth of cut to 15 uh, millimeters you want to select everything but the um, the toothed part here, which we're going to do manually, and we're going to automatically apply um, holding tabs. All right, just like that. So there we are. We're going to take this guy, which is the outside cut, 
and make sure he cuts to 15 and we're going to um, apply All right. And the other thing we want to do is uh, select the depth on these pockets that are going to be cut out. These are where the other boards are going to insert into. So the board is about 13.5 millimeters thick. So I chose to cut those pockets in uh, something in between, maybe about half the depth of the board. Uh, about six is what I used, six millimeters, and then I went ahead and saved that file to uh, the disk. Well, now that we got the pieces out of the board, I'm just going to go ahead and round down, uh, round down some of the edges here. Uh, all right, so we'll plug the router table in here, and as you see, I'm doing this wrong. I'm not using any uh, safety materials or protection here. Well, let's talk about this part. This this is the part that all the um, the uh, tongues go into, basically all the supports where the cables are going to hang. Uh, over over the top of this so I'd like to round this whole thing off except for the back part that goes up against the flat plane and back That's this big board over here. You can see that I don't want to round over the edges of this board um, Back that far so we'll see how much shallow we can get into here with this So here it is, all nicely installed. We've got some cables hanging from it. It's easy to you know pull them out and put them back. Um, it's just part of the board. Uh, probably wouldn't hurt to paint it black, but uh, I just put a little coating of uh, shellac on top of it just to be done with it. Uh, it's fine. You know, it came out with a few blemishes here and there, but yeah, it works out good. Holds those uh, cables in nicely. It's right there, handy next to the system.